a sometimes not so well known brand name, but therefore not less important, certainly when it's about materials for the flexible printing industry. And I'm joined here with Michel. Hello, Michel Good from morning. KDX. Good morning. Good morning. Take a, tell us a little bit more about what you mean uh, and what you bring to the graphical arts industry and the printing industry in general. We are bringing our expertise, um, our know-how, uh, our strong R&D capabilities. Um, most of our products are manufactured in Asia, in China, uh, via state-of-the-art manufacturing facilities. And for the last past few years now, we have introduced the ReadyLam product. Um, and uh, obviously we need to enter that market and we are very pleased to be a, a partner to, to Xicon. Mm -hmm. So, if I get it correctly, you have the special film products, for example, for as well digital presses, but also for the, let's say, the, the, the analog equipment as well. So, what, what would you say is one of the main markets for KDX uh, to be in? Right now, our main core activities uh, has been the graphic arts sector. Um, our products are well known in the world uh, within the commercial printers, uh, print rate finishers, uh, book binders, book printers. And due to the fact that we have um, great technologies, uh, i.e. extrusion coating, uh, extrusion, co-extrusion, uh, sputtering technology and also UV coating, that uh, has allowed us to venture more into the flexible packaging sector. And we have been working hard, uh, both in China and in Europe, and also in the US, uh, to launch those technologies. Um, and I think pretty much now, those products um, are going through their motions with Zycon. And what you see here today, it's the uh, first uh, uh, sets of new product for us, part of the ReadyLam range, so. Yes, and so, as you said, like, uh, we see the, the flexible pouches, right? Which is one of your uh, products that, that you, you bring here uh, today. Uh, it's something that we see is gaining market share, uh, obviously, over other types of, of products. And so you're well known for the, laminate, the laminating yes. uh, materials. So the ready lamb, uh, in, in what types of uh, product range is, is this particularly interesting? KDX has got uh, manufacturing capabilities in terms of uh, BioPET, BOPP, BOPAs, um, LDPs, HDPs and EVAs. So at the moment our main focus uh, within the flexible packaging sector has been on our polyester range of product for the outer layer as well as the inner layer. Um, at the moment, for the outer layer, we use primarily gloss and matte polyester with a thickness uh, ranging from 16 micron all the way up to 250 micron. Mm -hmm. Does this have an impact on, let's say, where everybody's talking about when it comes to flexible on the sustainability part of, of, of the product? Does that have an impact on, on, on that side of the story as well? Yes, of course, this is something we are extremely concerned and aware about. Um, also, not only for polyester-based product, but for BOPP. So, um, actually, two or three weeks ago with China, we have decided to start investigating more the possibilities about pre-recycled material. Okay. So, we are just trying to follow what the EU recommendations are going forward. So, yes, it's a challenge, but as long as the guidelines are clear, I think uh, those challenges and deadlines uh, can be met up. Right, so KDX is a name to remember, and uh, obviously you heard it here on Inkish. So thank you for your time. Thank you very much and for we'll your time you also. Around. Thank you. Thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, bye-bye.